I did a Michaels and Dollar Tree haul. Everything is falling. Um, I did this the other day. I just haven't got around to uh, loading the video. So I thought I'd come on here since it was Friday and show you what I got. So let's start with the Dollar Tree. So my Dollar Tree, I've been trying to find um, wreath forms. I cannot find them at my store. So I thought on payday, uh, I'm going to order a case of wreath forms because they never have them in the store. When they have them, people just will just buy the whole thing. So I never can get in there and get them. But during the Christmas season, they had a bunch of them and I didn't think about buying them then. Go figure. So show you what I got. So I picked these up and I got three of them. And I do have an idea for them. So I got three of those. And I got some ribbon. It dawned on me, I think I got two of the egg ones. There's another ribbon. Okay. And I picked up these egg garlands, and I picked up two of them. And what I'm going to do is, it's just probably just going to cut them off. So I got two of them. See? And they are, I love the colors on them. But I just plan on cutting them, doing something. I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. But, yeah. Okay. Move this out of the way. Okay. My nose is just, Okay. Then I got this little ladybug. Ladybug. And a froggy, which I'm going to take the bells off and this chain off, and I'm going to put it on the wreath. Isn't that cute? I love this frog. I thought it was adorable. That's what I'm going to do with the ladybug, too. And I got some of these clips. They're just to hold my diamond paintings down. Got those. I got this sign for the reef. And, okay, so they don't have the reforms, the round ones, and they didn't have these during um, um, uh, Valentine's Day. Sorry, I'll spit it out. <laughs> they didn't have these at Valentine's Day, but they had them after Valentine's Day, and they had a bunch of them. The hearts. I got two of them. And there won't be for Valentine's Day. I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet, but. Yeah, I just grabbed two for now. <sighs> Round ones, not happening. Okay, I think that is my Dollar Tree one. And I will show you my Michaels. Okay, so I picked up a bigger one. Got a bigger one. And a lot of people don't like these, but they were on clearance. And I'm not using them for yarn, but I'm going to use them on something. Maybe a wreath, right? So I got two of those, and the color on there um, is rose. And it's by Loops and Threads. And it was just $2.97. This has been kind of dusty. I think they've been around a while. So I got two of those. 
Uh, I don't, hopefully I don't fall. And they had some new yarn I wanted to try. And these are super pretty. Look at this. So I got two of these. And this is 394 yards, 7 ounces, 360 meters. And it's made by Loops and Thread. It's a number four weight. And the recommended hook size is a 4.5 millimeter. And this is cotton. So I'll show you on there. So I'll turn it around. And so I got two of them. Oops. Not sure what I'm going to do with them yet. But I love the colors. And it is... Yeah, it is 100% cotton. I wasn't sure if there was something else making it, but it is 100% cotton. Look how pretty that is. And the colorway on this one was sorbet, sherbet sorbet. Um, this was $9.99 and it was 40% off. Let me see what the actual, the price came up to be. Um, so, um, they were five ninety nine. Uh, that's what the forty. That was with the coupon. So they were five ninety nine a piece instead of nine ninety nine. So there's that. Keep that right there. Oh, and then I got a more Mod Podge. More Mod Podge, and a Mod Podge brush, just so I can cover my diamond paintings. I couldn't find my last one I got, so I grabbed some more. And I just used my coupon on it. So, yeah. And then I got this paper cutter. It was kind of spendy, but I used, I had a, um, it was $31.99 and I had a 50% coupon on it. I've been wanting one of these. And this one's a trim and scoreboard all in one um, for, cause I'm getting into some paper crafts. Isn't that cute? Let me turn my camera a little more. So yeah, this one, um, perfect boxes, envelopes, gift bags, paper, rosettes, and more. And I really thought it was cute and I want one because all the paper crafts, ch <laughs> the channels I've been watching, um, they use these boards and I wanted a cutting board. And it has a, yeah, it's a scoring tool, scoring tool and storage. So yeah, super excited. And then this was, oops. This book was on clearance. Now, mind you, most of their stuff in there, um, uh, like this 180 sheets, um, they're usually like 20 bucks. This paper. And let me open it up. So, um, these 180 sheets of paper was only $6.97. I thought it was, that, I thought that was a good deal. Um, let's see here. If I could get this off. Without cutting my... So, I just love the paper quality on this. So, $6.97, 
at Michael's. Um, I thought it was a great deal. 180 sheets. And it's 12 inch by 12 inch. And it's made by Recollections, which I love their... Um, um, Okay, so this is made by Recollections, and I love Recollections. Um, I got some of their glitter. I love it. So let me cut this all taped in here really well. I don't want to rip it. So, yeah, look at this paper. I like this one. There's power in being kind. Look at all of this pretty paper. I thought, wow, what a deal, right? There's just so much... Um, I can do with it. This one says, be happy. And it's like a, several sheets of those. So pretty. $6.97. Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah. This one I like too. Um, been wanting to do... I bought some composition books, I don't know, the other day, but I left those downstairs. Um, I have been watching videos on repurposing composition books um, last couple weeks. So I plan on um, doing something with that. And junk journaling, I've been doing watching videos on that and regular journaling. And I just love this paper. Yeah, I mean, 180 sheets. You can't, oops, you can't beat that, right? Scoot back a little more. Just kind of going through it real quick so you guys can see it. Oh, this is a strong is the new pretty. I think I got a great deal on this. Great, great deal. The lady was even just like, really? $6.97? I'm like, yeah, I'm going to snatch this one up. I mean, they had different kinds in there, but um, let's see. There's that one. And then... This one, um, this wasn't from Michael's, but since I, this is the only one I got from Walmart, I just, yeah. So, then I got this one, and this one was, it's only 50 sheets. It was at almost the same price as this one here. So, there's that. And... I'm going to open this up. Let's see here. <sighs> Sorry. I fell in love with this paper after I started watching journal uh, journal making and composition books and I'm like oh my gosh this is so addicting right so addicting so this is my one other one and this costs just about the same as this one here so and these are 12 inch by 12 inch as well 50 sheets and it's made by Delilah and I'll show you. I got some pretty, 
pretty sheets. Again, very pretty. There's so many uses for these papers. I'm finding out I really didn't pay attention to them before, nor was I into journaling or any type of paper crafts, but I thought I came across a video, I don't know, about composition books. And the way she did it, I was like, oh, wow, I can do that. And you know how YouTube does that. It just starts giving you ideas on what to watch. Well, I went down that rabbit hole and I got sucked in to the world of journaling. <laughs> so I crochet, I make jewelry, and I'm diamond painting now. And now I am wanting to journal. So, oh my gosh. Scrapbooking, not so much yet, but journaling. Yeah. I just love the colors on there. So that's what you get. Yeah, and it just shows you 25 unique designs for all kinds of stuff. Titles, it's, you know, shows you the page layouts on the back. How you want to do it. Yeah. So that is my haul. Not bad. Um, I didn't buy this all at once, though. I, the scrap, the paper in this was in one pay period, <laughs> excuse me. And then this one was another pay period because this was a little more than what I wanted to spend, but I like the name and I've seen the brand before. And there is a couple of tools that they make that I want that, um, I don't know what you call it. There's a name, but it like, you use it and it like bends the, um, paper. I don't know. I can't explain the tool. Anyway, it's called a crocodile something, I think, or a croc something. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, I saw that at Michael's as well. I'll probably end up picking that up. And yeah, because I'm making paper clips too that had, um, I'll, I'll show you all. These are the only ones I have left, but I'm going to show you anyway. I made these paper clips and they're all the flowers. Oops, I want to add something on it. I just used hot glue. And this one. And this little guy. You know. And this is a flower. I had one with butterflies on it, um, but they went to somebody for a swap. So I made some paper clips and I picked up some gold paper clips, but I don't know where they're at right now. And um, some other types of stuff to put on it. So yeah, these are just foam ones I got from uh, Michael's because the Dollar Tree didn't have hardly any left. My Dollar Tree hardly has anything. <laughs> so, yeah, those are my paper clips that I had decorated. Um, did those one day. So, yeah. Um, I have um, coming up videos. I have a box opening for the Diamond Art Club. I also ordered a new painting from mystical diamond arts that hasn't been shipped yet but once it's shipped in here i will open that up my um one of my victoria moons is almost completed i just got the top part to finish and another diamond art club um almost finished and uh that will be done and i will show you the review on that when I'm done. Um, so that will be upcoming next week if I can get, hopefully get those done. Um, I, what else is coming up? I am going to do a DIY with this yarn and one of these styrofoam wreaths. 
Um, that is coming up next week as well. And also coming up is this guy here. It's do something with this. You know, a lot of people are like, oh, I'll keep, you know, keep it. Or can I tear it apart and make something out of it? Yes, I'm going to do that. Um, and have it for all year round type of thing. And this one came a while back. I did a box opening on the, or a, a haul on these. But yeah, there'll be something in the works with this one. So look out for that video. Um, I'm going to have my grandbabies this week, so weekend. So um, I won't have any of those done. But starting next week, I'm going to get those done. So yeah, a lot of stuff in the works here. Um, I do have some crocheted finished objects. Finally, um, those will also be a video for next week as well, because I have to do one more thing. Um, yeah, so that's it, so guys. I'm going to cut this video off because I went over, wow, 22 minutes just rambling, right? I want to thank everybody that's taken the time to stop and watch my videos. Um, thank you to all my new subscribers. Um, yeah, I want to thank my family too. They have been watching my videos. Um, I am very grateful for them. So yeah, thank you to my family and whoever else is watching my videos. I greatly appreciate it. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button and, um, hit the thumbs up and share it out and hit the notification bell right there or yeah anyway so yeah guys um that is it i'll stop rambling and you guys all have a great day bye